And joining us now is Crystal Kong Minkoff. Welcome. Thank Thanks. you so much for being with us. Season premiere, season 13. Yeah. Are you ready? Are we know. ready? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, who could be ready for this much drama? If there was infidelity, would you say? I don't know. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills are back. Holy and we've got your first look at all the reality madness from Kyle and Mauricio's headline making split. Somebody is cheating. I think she's been lying. To the return of two former housewives. Hi, girly. Hey, awkward. Oh, what's up? And one wild trip to Las Vegas. Bring on Magic Mike. There's always drama, <laughs> and this year there's, um, it's pretty extreme. Extreme for me and some of the women. This group you wants me to scream all the time. It's wild. <laughs> would you say on a scale of one to ten, yeah, it's higher than normal? How would you rate it? I would say ten is you can't even touch ten. It's like way beyond. <laughs> Whoa, that much? Yeah, it's a lot. You're one evil woman. I am. This season we have the return of Denise. Yes. And Camille. Yes. What's it been like working with them? I see why they were all housewives at some point. Mm. <laughs> what do you mean? They bring a lot of drama and a lot of opinions. Mm. Ooh! Oh, God. We saw you had some beef with Kyle. By the way, you. Where does that stand now? Um, Kyle and I are better. But things are not much better in Kyle and Mauricio's marriage after rumors of cheating have swirled around their separation. Complete strangers are like, you made us believe in true love and now it's This all. is true love. There are only two people in this marriage. Everybody else's opinion can <laughs> off. Were you surprised by that? Did you know anything about that? I mean, you, you see kind of rumors online, but I was equally as surprised as I think everyone was. I, I'm sort of like living it day by day with everyone as well. In the new season premiering tonight on Bravo, Crystal gets candid about living and struggling with bulimia. You said too, which I thought was so lovely, it's a living challenge that I face moment to moment. I do. Yeah. yeah. It's a non-linear experience for every single person that experiences not only the eating disorder that I have, but other versions. It's sort of another platform for me to share my story. It's a responsibility for me, but it's something that I feel honored to, you know, take on. Yeah. Thank you so much for I having me. I look forward me. to uh, season 13. <laughs>